This video is brought to you by Videoblocks. This right here is the Mega Strek. Janik, catch! Jordy here for Syndicam.net and welcome to Creative Tuesday. A very special Tuesday today because we're about to make our own special effects. You get it? Special, special. If you have ever seen an action film, the gunfires are usually not real. And I'm sorry for that spoiler, but it's just more safe to use a fake gun than a real one. Now these muzzle flashes are actually things that you can treat yourself. But before we start, I do have to mention to do this very carefully as we're going to work with fireworks. And please only do this if you're above 18 or with the help of an adult. Later down the video, I'm also going to show you some more visual effects that you can treat yourself that do not require actual explosives. <laughs> We got ourselves an iron tube from the hardware store that we could close on the end. It's not necessary, but you can spray this with black paint to avoid as much reflections as possible. Mount this into a stand and make sure to film against a black background. And we actually added some top lights to make the smoke a little bit visible as well. If you do this too, then make sure to flag those lights off so that they don't cast light on the backgrounds. In that tube goes a small explosive and that's what you want to film. Before you start guys, make sure to take any safety precautions. I'm wearing a glasses right here, I got something in my ears for the very hard sound. We've got the camera behind a glass panel, nothing around the area right here can catch fire. We also have a fire extinguisher over there. That was a hard word to say. Anyways, after you've taken all your safety precautions, you are ready to go. Before that, don't start. Now since the muzzle that comes out of that tube is so short, your camera shutter probably can't capture it. It's the same as if you would see another person in the same room using the flash of his camera, you get these stripes. So that's why we lowered the shutter speed to around 1 30th of a second, which gave us a good result about 7 out of 10 recordings. You kinda have to be lucky here that the sensor refresh and the muzzle comes in at the right time. Apart from these muzzle flashes, we also recorded some sparks, and they can be used as projectiles or impacts from bullets. To create this, we use the exact same technique. Just film against a black wall in a dark space and use a grinding wheel against some iron to create those sparks. Again, take your safety precautions and only do this in presence of an adult if you're a minor. Here we didn't add any extra lights as there's no smoke to capture. A while back, we also showed the same technique with a lighter to create those sparks. And you know, capturing light effects against a black background has endless of possibilities. You can also take a flashlight and gently shine that into your lens. And these will become lens flares and if you take some transparent tape and stick that vertically on your lens, you got some of those gorgeous anamorphic flares. Now we've actually made a bunch of muzzle flashes, sparks and other visual effects available on video blocks. So if you already have an active subscription, you can just download all of our assets from our portfolio link in the description below. If you're not a VideoBlox member yet, then I can definitely recommend it to check it out by clicking the first link in the description below. There are tons of stock clips, video effects, templates and much more to download. There's only a single price per year which gives you unlimited downloads. So let's now see in Adobe Premiere Pro how we can use our own special effects. You can start off by simply adding a muzzle flash on top of your action clip. From the effects controls, look for opacity and change the blending mode to screen. On the point where you're about to fire your gun, you scale and align that muzzle flash. And chances now are that you still see a lot of the surrounding. And that's why I'm first heading back to the opacity property, click on the pen tool and draw a mask around the muzzle flash. And once you're done, you can also feather it a little bit to remove those hard edges from the mask. Next up, open Lumetri, and from here you want to create some more contrast. And we got the best results from the color wheels, where I decreased the shadows until the background wasn't visible anymore. You can also, if you like, increase the highlights to make it pop better. From the basic correction, you can add some more orange into the muzzle to make it more vivid. The result is not perfect yet. Since there happens a flash in front of me, it should also lighten up the surrounding. So there's one way to do that. Create an adjustment layer and just place that between your clip and the muzzle flash. 
With that adjustment layer selected, increase the exposure and add a little bit of orange into it from the lumetri panel. And this is the highlight, which we only want to appear on specific places. And that's why I'm clicking on the pen tool from the opacity of that adjustment layer to draw shapes around the areas that would reflect the lights. You can create multiple masks on that same layer. Very important here is that you feather all the masks enough. Finally, make sure to trim the adjustment layer to take up only one frame or as long as your muzzle flash is. Sparks work exactly the same, and the light leaks or flares usually only require a blending mode. Now, in the description below, you can also find a download link from where you can get several of these effects for free. And if you'd like to check out more of the assets that we've created, then make sure to visit Videoblocks. Thank you so much for watching again, and like always, stay creative. So we are just done filming a promo video for Cine Battle, a show that will soon come to our main channel here, Cinecom.net. We've been trying this out on our second channel, Cinecom Raw, and it's been a huge success. So stay tuned for that video. Yeah! Oh, Johnny, let me. Ah! Damn you, Johnny! Ah! <laughs>